Tonight, we're learning more about what's being called a third party review into a series of deadly encounters with the Mobile Police Department that is being conducted by former U.S. Attorney Kenyon Brown. NBC 15 News has obtained a letter that more fully outlines the intent of that investigation, as well as the cost and payment arrangements the city has agreed to in connection with that review. And here's what we've learned. The document addressed to the city from Kenyon Brown is dated January 11 of this year and arrived under the letterhead of Thompson Coburn LLP, a large law firm with offices in several major American cities. In it is a description of the goal of the review featuring two major objectives. First, to investigate and assess whether the use of deadly force was necessary and or legal in five instances in which the Mobile Police Department officers used deadly force to subdue citizens. That would include training and instruction materials. It goes on to say the investigation will also include a review of the service records and files of the MPD officers involved in the five instances wherein deadly force was used and any other information related to the five incidents and MPD's use of deadly force generally. NBC 15 News has reviewed our files and have found five such instances we believe are the likely events mentioned in the letter. The March 7, 2023 execution of a no-knock warrant on St. Charles Street that resulted in the death of 24-year-old Cordell Jones. The July 2, 2023 officer-involved tasing death of 36-year-old Juwan Dallas. The October fatal shooting of 24-year-old Christopher Jones, a man with mental issues who officers say pointed a gun at them before they opened fire. The November 13th SWAT raid on a home on Sheringham Drive that ended in the death of 16-year-old Randall Edgesom. And possibly the February 4th, 2021 raid on Lakeview Drive that ended in gunfire when officers say someone opened fire on them. 18-year-old Trey Webster was fatally wounded when officers returned fire. The correspondence also reveals the cost of what the city describes as its third-party review. Quote, the hourly rate for Kenyon Brown, who will serve as your primary investigator, is $1,000. This is consistent with his prior representation in this matter while affiliated with another law firm. And the document also reveals that money has already been exchanged. As is the firm's practice, it reads, client has agreed to pay the firm $20,000 as an advance. Now the results of that review by Brown are expected to be released early next week. We'll be following it for you.